God damn it, I need to pick old movies to review. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Robe Reviews, the show where one opinionated man in a bathrobe watches and critiques movies. And today, I'm a little behind schedule, once again. So I'll be reviewing a movie that came out about a month ago on Amazon called Without Remorse. He is more dangerous and effective than any man we have in the field. So this movie was based on a Tom Clancy book that was directed by Stefano Salima and written by Taylor Sheridan and Will Staples. If you don't know already, Tom Clancy books are focused on uh, the military and special operations and espionage and all sorts of good stuff like that. Stories that he's known for that have made their way into movies are The Hunt for Red October, The Sum of All Fears, Patriot Games, the entire Jack Ryan franchise, among others. So the genre is pretty straightforward and by now we've seen like a million of these. Tom Clancy's Without Remorse stars Michael B. Jordan, who is a fan favorite, but we'll talk about that a little more as we go on. So anyways, I got my robe tied tight, drink at the ready, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So let's start with a couple positives. The movie is adequate. Wow. It delivers on the genre expectations and it gives you sort of exactly what you anticipate it will be. You get some action scenes, some fight scenes, some gunfight scenes, uh, some twists and turns in the story. Um, and pretty much everything that you expect will be in there. Michael B. Jordan looks great in this movie. He is uh, well shredded. Wow. And um, that's kind of it for positives. There are huge glaring problems with the story nope. and the filmmaking nope. and the acting too. For the story, yes, it delivers on the expectations, but in the most uncreative and obvious ways possible. The action scenes themselves offer nothing original, and it feels like I've seen them a hundred times already, except better executed. And the betrayals and twists just seem obvious and forced as well. Nope. They happen exactly when you expect them to, and they really add nothing to the story. If you want a badass, straight-up revenge movie like something like John Wick, kind of like how they advertise this movie, this ain't it. Nope. Another glaring problem is the filmmaking. Usually you can rely on the movie to look good or sound good at the bare minimum, even if the story sucks. But this movie is incredibly dark, and I don't mean tonally, it visually is dark throughout the entire thing. And the cutting is so abrupt and sloppy that it's really hard to follow at times. In the action scenes, it's too dark or smoky to really see what's going on. And in the small character and dialogue scenes in between, they're visually just boring. I never found myself thinking, wow, this scene looks really good. Nope. And I don't know if it was just me, but the sound mixing seemed really horrible as well. In a lot of scenes, the music and effects were pumped up so high that I couldn't hear dialogue anymore. Not that I wanted to hear the dialogue, nope. but it would be nice to. Anyways, just based on the filmmaking, it was hard to watch. Made even harder to watch by the acting. I never once bought Michael B. Jordan's character in this movie, um, and really any of the other characters. His performance and their performances felt inauthentic the entire time. Nope. The supporting characters were also so one-dimensional, and the dialogue so on the nose and forced, that every moment seemed fake. And what it felt like was watching actors deliver dialogue in a scene that they didn't really believe in. Nope. I like Michael B. Jordan, I liked him in other roles, I think he's a great actor, but this perfect storm of bad story and character and dialogue and filmmaking made this hard to watch at times. Nope. So, as is tradition, I'm going to give this movie a score out of 100. So, drumroll please. No remorse. A score of 56. Yeah, I enjoyed Mortal Kombat more than this movie. Even from simply a visual standpoint, this movie was unenjoyable to watch. Which is really the bare minimum for movie watching. And for a special ops, action genre kind of movie, I felt like I've seen this movie five times before already. Except executed and done better in every respect. I was waiting for this one to end, so no surprise with a low score here. So anyways, a lot more movies to watch and a lot more reviews to be had. I'll see you guys on the next one.